Now to a neighborhood crime alert. Police are hoping to get word out about a series of home break-ins in Gulf Shores. Officers answered a series of calls in the East 22 Avenue area. 22nd Avenue area, that is. Local 15's Christian Jennings tracking these details for us tonight. And Christian, a few of the victims you talked to were too frightened to speak on camera. And who can blame them, Derek? One woman I talked to said the thieves took every Christmas gift from under her tree, about 20 gifts, many of them very expensive items. And another home had valuable family heirlooms taken when they weren't home. Bethel and Claudia Warden moved to Gulf Shores from Texas to escape crime. But over the past few weeks, crime has managed to find them again. The lady across the street had her storage building broke into. Then the wardens noticed that someone had siphoned half a tank of gas from their car, which was parked in their driveway. They had obviously got in here, popped this, and the cap itself was hanging out like that. And the reports of theft on East 22nd Avenue continued yesterday when two homes, side by side, were burglarized. This is the back door that they kicked in, uh, and their footprints out there, but they kicked this in and knocked the frame off. Ron Arnold is best friends with the owner of this home. He stopped by today at the owner's request to check out the damage. In this room, as you can see, they opened all the drawers. They didn't get this laptop. They tore the bed up. They got a handgun out of the uh, nightstand here. Upstairs, $10,000 worth of jewelry is missing, he says. And the folks living in the home next door are experiencing similar heartache. She said that all they did was take Christmas presents that were wrapped. Now police are warning homeowners to keep an eye out for a dark gray Chevrolet that's either a Malibu or Impala with tinted windows, which is believed to be the suspect's vehicle. It's, it's scary. I mean, you know, it's, it's frightening. Very frightening. Now, Gulf Shores police posted a crime alert on their Facebook page about all of this. And beneath the post, one man commented today saying he lives on 24th Avenue and his door was also kicked down. He says electronics and money were taken and his animals were beaten. Derek, back to you.